Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be working on the second module of the modular synthesizer. This module is going to be the output module. We need the output module in order to hear what the synthesizer is doing. Without the output module, we wouldn't be able to hear anything. Uh, so this is a stereo output module that we can send to our DAW or another recording device so that we can either capture or record what the synthesizer is doing. Just like the first module, the VCO, this one comes in two parts. It has two PCBs that we need to populate with the components. Um, they are smaller um, so that they save more space on the rack. They also stack just like the other PCBs. Just like last time, I'm going to uh, get these cleaned up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and then we can start soldering components. So the alcohol will make sure that the solder has something good to um, stick to, uh, cleaning off any residue. And here I'm starting with some of the smaller components, the smaller through-hole components. These are diodes that are going in. I'll get those placed and then solder those on the back side with the soldering iron, trying to work in small groups so that I don't get in my way whenever I'm putting uh, any of the components in. And that's kind of the idea of starting with the smaller components first, just like before, so that all of the small stuff is squared away before you try and start putting in the larger components. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to tell you about um, the company that I got these PCBs from. These PCBs were uh, manufactured by PCB Way, a company that I found that uh, could make the PCBs for me because I'm not comfortable with making my own PCBs. That's just not a skill that I have. And they were able to uh, take the PCB files, turn them around, do the entire manufacturing process, make sure that it was done to a very high quality and get them back to me very quickly. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend them if you're looking to do um, any sort of PCB uh, manufacturing for any of your projects. They also have other services like uh, CNC services and uh, sheet metal services, which you'll see at the end. They also did the uh, faceplate for this module. I'll have their information uh, linked in the description if you want to go check them out. Okay. So here comes the part that I haven't done before. This is the SMD component that is going to go directly on top of the uh, PCB. Here is the component itself. If I can get it in frame. There you go. It is that little guy right there. That has to go on here and um, connect to these pads, these eight pads here. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is put some flux down with this uh, flux pen. All right, this is uh, the flux pen that is going to help the solder stick to those pads. I'm going to get some solder on uh, the tip of my iron and I'm using a smaller tip. Um, I have a larger uh, like screwdriver chisel shaped tip for some of these uh, larger uh, through holes. As you can see there's a couple of different sizes of holes in the PCB. So uh, these smaller ones for capacitors, I'll use this smaller one on. And uh, for this uh, SMD, I'll use this small tip as well. So um, let's see how it goes. So these are just the first two uh, tacks that that will hold the part in place so that I can solder the rest of it. And these are the hardest to do 
uh, just to get it to where it sits correctly over those those solder pads. Now that it's tacked in place, I can go back and solder um, the rest of the pins. Here we are back at the output module. We've got all of the um, smaller components in, uh, the diodes, resistors, capacitors, um, and this is where uh, this module starts looking a little different from the first one we did. So since this is an output module, there's going to be a stereo jack down here for headphones, a uh, stereo jack up here for um, audio output to send to like a DAW or your computer. We're going to have a mono jack uh, here and here for left and right audio in. And then in the middle here, uh, this bigger spot, this is going to be a volume knob for the headphones. And that's just going to be a potentiometer like this one. So now that we have all of the smaller components in place, it makes it a little easier to work with these larger components because you don't have to go in after putting in the big components and then try and work in between the large components and get everything placed. That was just a quick test of the faceplate to make sure uh, everything's lining up. And then going onto the backside and soldering these in place, using a little bit more solder because these are the larger holes for uh, these larger components. And sometimes it takes quite a bit of solder to fill the through hole um, that goes through the PCB. And now we have uh, both of the PCBs stacked together with the headers and I'm going through and soldering those in place. It's easier to put the headers together um, without solder first. That way you make sure that they line up with each other and then solder them in place. Uh, because the way that they fit into each other, if you have one that's just a little bit off, it makes it very hard to put them together after the fact. All right, we finally have all the components in place on this one. We have the circuit boards uh, sandwiched together with their headers. The last thing we need to do before powering up is put this integrated circuit in place. Again, being sure to line up the notch on the chip with the notch in the uh, socket so that it's in the correct way. Okay, back at the bench now, and we've got our completed output module, and it's time to put on the faceplate. Again, this faceplate was made by PCBWay. Um, it is anodized aluminum and uh, laser engraved for the markings on the front of the faceplate. Let's get this put on, and then over to the rack. Uh, placing washers to protect the faceplate and then just the nuts that go over those, getting those finger tight for now. And then the larger nut and washer on the potentiometer. And this is what the finished output module looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I wanted to thank all of my Patreon supporters um, for supporting the channel and especially these supporters uh, for being at the tier where I get to uh, give them a shout out at the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the build so far, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'm looking forward to making the next module and seeing you in the next video.